So we can start with the strikes on the roof. So there's, uh, for those of you who are might be tuning in because you're curious about the 992 G3RS are not uh, super knowledgeable about it, maybe don't have one uh, yourself, maybe aspirationally are looking to get one, uh, or you're just tuning in to learn about aerodynamics, uh, a roof strake is a, a guide to kind of help shape the air uh, towards or away from something, uh, sometimes to create a vortice or um, the strakes on the roof. Uh, there's a misnomer with the GT3 RS. And I don't know if this was subterfuge on Porsche's part, or they're trying to make the car look smaller cross-sectionally. Typically when you see fins strikes on the top of the trailing edge of the roof right in front of the rear window, those are vortex generators. That is not what these are. Uh, they look similar, but that is not what they are. Those are actually just a directional change in the flow field there so that they're just trying to reduce the amount of hot air that is going to be ingested by the engine. So they're just creating a small vortex along the top edge, rolling up a vortex and, and adding a little bit of directionality and curvature to those strakes to push flow out away from the windows to keep that flow from getting ingested. But you know, at 160 miles an hour or whatever this car goes, it's not a small thing. At 100 miles an hour, it's not a small thing. Really, we only see this kind of stuff in, in Formula One and then, and then here.